Hope you're doing good. Micah back with another video. Back here to talk about contact key verification and why this is a very, very important feature Apple brought to the iPhones and iPads for, the, for that matter and really all their devices with iOS 17, specifically iOS 17.2, Watch OS 9.2, and Mac OS 14.2. So those are the most latest softwares you're going to need to be on in order to access contact key verification. And what I'm going to do in this video is really kind of show you guys via the website as well why this is very important and how to actually activate it properly. I'm only going to show you one way because it's the easiest way for me to show you guys that you may actually utilize. The other way is to do a manual check and that can be in person with the other people that you're texting and sending photos and videos and voice memos to back and from. So if you really want all of those messages to be secured, activate contact key verification. So before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys ignite that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, so that way you never miss my video, so that way you and I can sit back, select, see what's cracking. Now let's get into the video. So what we're going to first do is come in here to settings, and then you're going to click on your Apple ID up at the top. And you're going to scroll down. Now, as you can see, I already have mine activated uh, right there. Mine's already activated. Now, upon clicking on it, you see verification and message. And if you want to read that, it says verify who you are messaging with by comparing contact verification codes in person or over the phone. In conversations with people who also have contact key verification turned on, you will see a message if contact key verification detects an issue or is turned off. So that's something to keep in mind with this, but you want to turn this on. And then when you do, encourage your friends or family that you're texting back and forth to also turn this feature on. But to learn more, let's click on learn more. As we can see here, it provides additional security by helping to protect sophisticated threats against iMessage servers and allowing you to verify that you're messaging only with the people that you intend, or basically the people you want to, the people who you know, right? So here are some additional features, right? It automatically verifies that you're messaging with the person you intend. You will receive an alert if there's an error in the verification process. Additionally, you can manually verify contacts by, com by comparing verification codes. When you manually verify contact, iMessage contact verification verify that the code you have saved matches the one provided by the iMessage servers for that contact and notifies you if the verification code changes. So, of course, like I said, there's about two or three ways you can do this. You can go within the contacts app and verify the contact or simply through your message thread if you want to see the additional details on the requirements as i said right here ios 17.2 watch os 9.2 mac os 14.2 on all your devices and you must be signed in to imessage with your apple id sign in to icloud and your apple id across all your devices as well icloud keychain has to be turned on on all your devices as well as two-factor authentication for your apple id and last but not least you got to have a passcode or password set on your devices for all of this to work. So, of course, you want to learn more. Of course, uh, again, I showed you all you got to do is click on that, learn more and verification and message and iMessage to get additional information. So, well, as you guys saw there, we all have our own public verification code. And that's the code that we're more or less going to use to set up contact key verification right now or i'm basically going to show you how i set mine up and i'm gonna use my mom's text thread as an example because i was walking her through it <laughs> to get her successfully set up so we're going to come into imessage i'm gonna to go to my mom and as you see there <laughs> we were talking about it there and as you see up at the top you see by her name there's a check mark that shows that she's verified and so one of the things you're going to want to do is click on the details up there, then come down here. And then as you can see right there, mom is verified. But if she's not, it's going to either say her verification is turned off or maybe on. And now you want to verify the contact and upon clicking on it. So I'm going to show you that with, uh, let's see, I'm going to use my brother's or my grandma's. That's fine too. I don't know if she's actually helped her out yet. But see right here, it says that it's turned off. 
So or hers is turned off. Once she gets her phone updated, everything should be good. If they're not verified yet, it's not going to show that. And all you have to do is click on it. And then you're going to get another message. As you see, if I click on show verification code, this is where you can do the manual with the contact verification code or use public verification code. That's what you're going to end up clicking on when they have their verification turned on as well as your contact key verification turned on. By using your public verification code, it's an easier path to follow in order to verify the contact that you're texting and communicating with and then you end up with that check mark right there. So a very, very important key security feature that was brought and really refined with iOS 17.2. And we know in iOS 17.3, Apple has added an additional level of security with stolen device protection. So Apple's really helping us with these next few updates within iOS 17 to secure our iOS devices so that way we don't have any problems with intruders and so we can safely message and communicate with our family and friends with nothing being stolen as well as our actual hardware being less likely to be stolen with these additional levels of security. So let me know down in the comment section below, have you turned on contact key verification yet? Have you verified contacts yet? I'd like to know who has already started down this path. So far for me, it's just been my wife and my mom trying to get other people on board. It's a process, but hopefully with this video, it will help you guys to speed that up. But again, as always, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys ignite the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, so that way you never miss my videos, so that way you and I can sit back, relax, see what's cracking. It's your man Mike is signing out, and until the next video, I can't believe it, right? I'm still rocking the case, and I'm rocking kind of a thick boy from Rinky. I can't believe it. Wait, boy.